Hi everyone and welcome to this general love reading I'm doing today. Now this could be in relation to you and your person, someone on your mind, whatever your situation may be. We're going to see the main energies that come through. Today could be you, could be your person. Remember this is general though, so take what's yours and leave the rest. It may or may not resonate with you. Um, I'm still feeling the up and down energy in the collective. Maybe some of you are still feeling that. Shifts are still happening um, in connections. Some of you might receive signs if you're thinking about your person in terms of what's going on for them. I'm feeling karmic endings have been happening. Um, but let's just see the collective energy that comes through. Yeah, no surprise we got walking away, as I was feeling. So karmic endings, now whatever that may be, it doesn't have to just be a relationship, it could be a phase of your life, an addiction, a job, a um, thought pattern, you know, ascension, coming through here, spiritual awakening, Yeah, and as I said that, we've got the crown chakra, which is very much about connecting with the divine, receiving downloads and guidance in terms of what your next step is. So if some are doing that, um, if they're realising their situation doesn't serve them, it could be you, obviously, um, or it could be personal in your mind. I'm getting dreams as well. Um, okay, wow, yeah, storm morning number 10 for an ending. So tower moments, karmic endings as I felt, have either happened or are still happening as I thought. So you've got the angel of strength around you at this time. Some people may experience financial loss if you're moving on from a job. But obviously when one door closes, another one opens. So be strong. Um, or if you're moving out of your home, you know, if you live with your partner, for example. We've got the world showing a new chapter here for a lot of people in the collective. So this is really positive. Okay, I'm going to clarify each card. Wow, okay, now that felt really heavy um, as I picked up that card in the heart chakra. Um, snake few things i mean it's about shedding the old it flew out on a storm warning so we're going to take that there but it can be you know someone here who was deceptive potentially karmic energy karmic person i strongly feel there and something comes to an end feeling the reason for some that this comes to an end is one person awakens, you know, realises this doesn't serve them anymore. It served a purpose, you know, they learnt lessons. But what happens with karmic situations is they always end because you both learn your lesson and then eventually you grow apart and you find you no longer really resonate with that person. So that's what I'm feeling there. Anything else I'm walking away? The clover, yeah, so sort of following signs, 
the receive serendipity coming through here luck on your side if you decide to move on maybe some of you have felt things haven't worked out for you if you've been trapped in a situation and we got cross on the angel of strength yeah that makes sense so a lot of burdens grief heavy energy so when we go through those dips um, you might really feel that and that's why the angel of strength is with you And we got the dog. So this is a loyal energy, companionship. A lot of you I'm connecting with are very loyal to your person. It's a spiritual connection with the crown chakra there. So you might be connecting telepathically. You know they're your one. Getting emotions here. Coming through. Wow, and then you've got the garden, so that's so positive, you know, as I said about one door closing and the door to this garden opens, which is showing abundance, social activities, getting yourself out there, meeting new people, for example. Okay, I'm going to see the main energy that comes through with the tarot here. Well, I'm not surprised to see the High Priestess with the Crown Chakra, as I said, a very spiritual connection. Um, wow. Okay, I'm getting two energies here coming through. So we've got a third party coming out right away. A lot of you know about this, or some of you know about this. If you know your person's in a third party, this reading could be for you. And that person wants to sneak away. The Ten of Swords, we've got another ten there for an ending. Seven of Swords, it's like a, a strategy here. This person's coming up with to get out of that situation. And I feel they're trusting the downloads they receive. They've really been meditating here, trying to be strong. You know, we've got strength come out twice for this person. But I'm also getting your energy come through here with the High Priestess. So you might be picking up on your person's energy. Okay. To have 10 10, I'm strong, and the Three of Swords, I'm strongly feeling as I felt karmic endings. Uh, Leo Pisces coming through. So Leo came out in the last reading. Um, it can happen during you know the star sign season. We've got yeah fire sign. So this is the other energy in the third party. who has caused a lot of anxiety for this person. This person wants to break free. You see, spirit is there, guiding your person to break free. There's a lot of tension um, between those two people. And we've got a five there for change and freedom. I'm feeling that energy wants everything their own way. They want, want, want. Um, that's what I'm hearing here. <laughs> they expect everything. Um, it's been quite a strong attachment, I feel, between these two. Yeah, so... For some, this is a long-term relationship. 
we could have children. So that's what makes it a bit messy. But we've got the tower, the bottom of the deck, which is like the storm warning that we had. Yeah, three major arcana. This is quite a big turning point for this person, making a decision, things crumbling that weren't built on solid ground, walking away from that. Okay, so anything else on this um, energy who's on your mind? I'm feeling this is your person. Yeah, we got Hermit again. Virgo energy. Sorry, I should have called that out. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the reflecting, going within healing, really thinking this through. Trying to have hope, you know, because they don't really know how things will work out for them if they walk away. We've got 10-10 ten, ten there, 10-10-10, ten, ten, ten. definite endings here. This person wants a fresh start page. They want to communicate their truth, start again. I feel if they do, yeah, and that's coming out again here, the eight wands, communication, movement, making a decision, cutting out what doesn't serve them. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> I think I was going to say if they do make this decision, they're going to feel very liberated and free. It's the energy I'm getting for this person. They really want a change. Okay, so what might happen if they make this decision? Yeah, an ace, again, they want this fresh start. Reunion energy coming up, I'm getting shivers now. With this card, it's about reunion, happiness. Trusting, again, the downloads um, that they receive from the divine. So I feel a strong soul connection here between you and this person. Yeah. As I said that, we get the Six of Cups, someone from your past, soulmate to flame. There's a lot of memories between you and this person. I feel they've been having a lot of these memories, nostalgia recently, and maybe you've been feeling it as well in your energy. That could be what makes you up and down. And that's why this person's up and down, because I feel in this situation, it brings them down, but when they think of you, they're lifted up. So there's a lot of cups there when they move on from this situation. Um, where we've got a lot of swords. Yeah, a lot of swords there. Um, conflict, tension, and then cups. That's what they want to move towards. Okay, so the signs that have strongly come through in this reading are Aquarius, Virgo, Pisces, and Leo. So I'm going to do bonus readings for those star signs as a result of this reading. Um, this is how I do it now. You may have heard me say in previous readings. So obviously then it's more specific messages for your star sign in relation to what's come through in the collective. Now that can be Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. But you might also find sometimes that a title draws you in and it's not actually your star sign. Remember we have a lot of different star signs 
in our chart, I mean all of them really. <laughs> so trust your intuition in terms of that kind of thing. Um, even, for example, the season we're in at the moment, which at, at the time of recording is Leo, you might find the Leo readings really resonate with you because we're all in that season, you know, in that energy. So that's what I'm finding with star signs, you know, it's not sort of clear cut. Anyway, keep your eyes peeled for those um, bonus readings. Let's pull an oracle card for the collective. Okay, they just all tumbled out there. So we've got take time out. Someone at a spa here. Some of you might have been overworking. Um, it's come out for your person here. They're trying to do that, I feel. Trying to heal, take some time out. Reconnect with Mother Earth. Connect with nature. Can really help ground you which I feel is necessary in the collective. We've got butterflies, which you might see when you're out, sign of change and transformation. I know I've been seeing quite a lot recently. One flew past me the other day, right in front of me, you know, I saw that as a sign. Um, laugh and have fun. Yeah, so the message here, I think, is for the collective. In those moments where the energy drops, which I felt quite strongly this morning actually, before this reading, but I was guided to do the reading. Um, try to have fun and smile, watch things that make you laugh. I've been sometimes watching comedies recently um, that can lift you up. And move your body, dance, breathe, flow. Yeah, so a lot of guidance here for a lot of you. Um, we've got the sea, you know, going to the sea is very good to clear your mind, isn't it? As well, um, being with others, being alone, whatever you choose to do. Wow, it's beautiful. On the bottom of the deck, teach and share. So some of you um, could be spiritual teachers, I feel, who are watching here. Um, and you're being guided to share what you've learnt. I feel this person might be as well. You both might be old souls. Because we had, yeah, we had the hermit come out there. So you're being guided to share your light with the collective. Okay, everyone, I'm going to leave that there. I'm off to do the bonus um, readings that I mentioned I'm going to do. Thank you so much for being here. Please do comment if this resonates in any way. You can help me pick, pick up on your energy for future readings. Sending lots of love to you all.